What's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys along on a real day in the life with me using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've had this phone for about six months now. I use it for a lot of professional work, you know, all kinds of uh, editing, uh, all kinds of uploads between different social media platforms and, you know, even taking videos when I'm, you know, vlogging uh, or on the road and I can't bring my camera. So it acts or it plays a, a huge role in my day-to-day -day activity. So I'm going to, you know, uh, go ahead and test out the battery life as well as um, the camera during this uh, entire day. So first of all, I'm going to be heading to the barbershop because you know, my hair is kind of, it's kind of nappy right now and it needs, I need, I need to clean it up, get, get a nice little fade going on there. All right, let's see what the battery's at at 9.41 a.m. before I, you know, go ahead and start my day. So I'm gonna hit the settings and we'll go into battery um, right there. Okay, last charge to 100% 44 minutes ago. So uh, like I said, around 8.55 is when I disconnected the phone. I do use my phone a lot, like I said, for a lot of uh, different things, work, you know, Facebook, watching videos on YouTube, you know, uploading videos, so many different things, and you guys will see throughout the day. So as you can see right there, we're currently at 100% at 9.41 a.m. So we'll see how well the, bat uh, the battery handles. I'm going to be operating at normal conditions. I'm not gonna increase the brightness or change anything specifically just for this video right here. What I'm gonna do is just use it the way I would usually use it and show you guys how amazing this battery is, man. Okay, we're at the barber shop. This shouldn't be too long, but I hope it's not, a, at least <laughs> I'm just getting a little fade up. All right, let's see, let's get in. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> okay, so that's what we got right there for the hair. All right, so I'm using the front camera right now, and I just had my hair did up, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but I think it's fresh. I think that thing looked fire right now, man. Did me nice outside, so you guys can see how it looks, you know, when shooting videos in the sun. And this is the front-facing camera, not the rear camera. So that's pretty good too there. Uh, I'm about to head home and uh, continue the day. Okay, just gotta head over to the mailbox to grab some mail. Usually try to do this like routine. Twice a week or three times a week, I check the mailbox. It's super close to the house, so it's not hard to do. All right, let's see what we got. I don't think there's anything useful here. Heading back right now. The sun's nice today, man. We do get a lot of sun. It's just, we don't really get to enjoy it because we can't go out. It's cold. It's always cold, man. But yeah, loving the camera on this thing. I think you could definitely vlog with this. You don't need a major camera if you want to get into vlogging. Okay, so that's the mailbox run right there. What's going on is they're building around here, so you're going to hear some sounds. Don't be alarmed by it, and I hope you guys can still hear me. I've got my mic close up to my, uh, my shirt, so hopefully you still can. All right, so it's 12.25 p.m. right now. And I'm gonna show you guys what the battery is looking like. So I haven't charged the phone, not once. And I've uh, gone to, you know, get my hair cut, use the phone to record a few videos, you know, here and there. Nothing crazy, you know, like I said, using it according to how I would use it. Maybe with a few more, you know, use in this case, cause I'm testing it out, you know, testing out the camera. So basically right now, let's see what it's looking like. Into settings and then into battery. Okay, so right there, um, it says I'm using high brightness. I've got my phone on auto, you know, for brightness level, so I don't really have to change that. So as you can see right now, four hours, 27 minutes, screen on time, screen off time, 54 minutes. So the phone has been on, you know, a lot longer than usual. And right now the battery says, guess what, 86%. So we've only lost 14% um, of battery since I disconnected this at uh, 8.55 a.m. So we're doing pretty good so far. And this is about six to seven months after you know using this phone heavily because i use it for my professional work mostly this is the iphone 13 pro max it's for you know professionals but you know anyone can use it but i use it for my work and personal and everything it's my you know companion like just like everybody else's phone out there 
but honestly, I'm loving the battery life, which is one of the biggest things for me. I'm gonna go inside and have some food and you know get some editing work done for the day and from there i'm going to, i'm going to hit the gym so i'm going to bring my phone with me to the gym as well because i use it a lot for my music and all of that stuff one a company selling a product offers a regular option and a premium option simple to understand what you're getting here with this spec bump which is an even more powerful version of the ipad we already know So the time right now is 5.07 p.m. So the phone is still hanging in there. That battery life is insane. Uh, if you guys, if any of you guys out there have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, let me know how much you're, you know, liking that battery life. Let me know down in the comment section. But um, let's go ahead and see what the battery is saying at this time of the day. So we're at 72%. So the last time we checked this around 12 o'clock, uh, we were at about 86%. And honestly, that's not a lot. So we've lost another, what, 14% there? And the day is, you know, coming to an end. It's already 5.07 p.m., like I said. So like I said, I use it a lot throughout the entire day. I do a lot of different things with my phone. Uh, even while I'm eating sometimes, I'm, you know, trying to catch up on some YouTube videos that I otherwise wouldn't, you know, watch any other time because I don't really watch videos a lot because I'm always busy. So earlier during the day, I took it out to, you know, take a bunch of photos and test out the video you know, using the different cameras, the standard, the zoom, and uh, ultra wide. So th they're all really good in their own way. They're unique, you know, you can find so many creative ways you can use them. Um, like for example, trying to capture all parts of this room when I, whenever I'm trying to take a photo is extremely difficult, but using the ultra wide uh, camera, I can get like all, uh, basically everything. And honestly, it's impossible to do that with the standard uh, camera. The camera quality for photos is also pretty good. Honestly, I love it. So another cool thing about this uh, phone that I've loved in that time frame is the storage. So I didn't go for the standard 64 gigabytes uh, or 128 gigabyte because it didn't start at one at 64. There was no there's no 64 gigabyte variant of this phone. So it starts at 128, and I picked that up initially. And honestly, I couldn't. I returned it and switched it out for a 256 gigabyte version just so I can, you know, use the ProRes 4K format because it's only limited to 256 and above. So uh, honestly, I don't use that feature at all, like the ProRes video, because it's so much work trying to get that video, you know, sent from uh, the phone directly to my laptop for post-processing and all of that. And I'm not really, you know, going through all of that when I have a camera that can do, you know, shoot way better ProRes and get me way better quality. So uh, maybe they're gonna improve that and make it easier to transfer between my laptop and the phone, but it's, it's, it's kind of tough. You know, it takes takes a while and it's not really a, a useful feature just like the cinematic uh, mode that mode I don't use at all I'd never use it because it's it's an HD quality why would I want to shoot an HD quality when there's 4k qualities on this phone so to me that one's a waste and this is six to seven months after and like I said the storage 256 gigabytes is amazing because honestly I didn't think I'd use that much you know like I, I still haven't used even close to hundred but that confidence that feeling of always having that amount of storage because I take a lot of videos and photos now uh, using a phone. I usually wouldn't do that before, you know, but now whenever I travel, whenever I want to post, uh, you know, to social media like um, Instagram or TikTok or whatever, you know, like shorter form content, then I got to use my phone. I use my phone a lot. So, you know, it comes in handy when I, you know, I can't just bring out my camera or when I don't have my camera with me. Right here, you'll see in the settings menu, um, I'm going to go ahead and check out the general and um, in the iPhone storage, I've only used up 80 gigabytes out of my 256 gigabyte on here so and that's that's crazy I, like i said i downloaded a lot of videos and you know i, I try to keep my phone clean too because i have uh, cloud storage that i built myself i end up storing a lot of my um you know large documents and videos and stuff on that uh, storage or on that media after you know i take it off the phone and just kind of move it over there but you know like i said 256 is, is a lot of leeway it gives you um you know the opportunity to shoot more you know take more in and without having that you know, feeling of, oh my God, I might run out of storage. All right, let's go ahead and see how the battery usage has been since the beginning of the day. Um, you'll see right down here, let me see in the settings. So battery right there. Um, so high brightness, I, I usually just set it to automatic, like I said, I don't choose uh, the kind of brightness that I go with, so it does it on its own. Um, auto lock is currently turned off. You can save battery by turning it on. I didn't turn that off, so I don't know what they're talking about. Either ways, uh, battery health, um, four hours and five minutes of screen on time and screen off time, 53 minutes. 
As you can see right there, I use the camera a lot. I use Instagram, I use Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Spotify is still in the background for now. It's my, obviously my only sound uh, source of music. So I'm going to be using it a lot more uh, with my during my next activity here because I'm gonna hit the gym. So I hit the gym about six days a week and during these uh, one to two hour sessions, I'm using my phone for a lot of different things like recording you know, myself workouts, you know, taking a picture and watching my own progress. And you know, trying to share tips and tricks uh, on you know that I've learned over time with people and all of that to post to my other social media platforms. Because yes, I do run a fitness um, uh, Instagram and YouTube page as well, so y'all can check that out. You know, if you want to see or learn more about that part of you know what I do. Something else I've grown fond of is the ProMotion display. I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically, you know, uh, the ProMotion allows you uh, allows the, the phone screen to adapt. Um, the refresh rate so between I think 40 and 120 Hertz so it just makes it basically means that it'll be super smooth when you're going through apps and different things like that so that might not be important to a lot of people but to me I love that man at this point I'm, I'm now used to it and anytime anytime I go to something that's you know locked or with a fixed refresh rate I don't really like it as much and if you're wondering what case I've got on the phone right here I picked this up from dbrand it's there uh, I think it's called the everyday grip case it's pretty nice. It's got like this uh, rough surface and some, you know, smooth spots on it uh, along the side. So it makes it harder to drop the phone. And I like how it like curves, you know, it, it, it's, it's just a really cool design. I don't really want to talk too much about it. Uh, and I like that, you know, the, the carbon fiber I've got on here is also super cool. I got it from them. It's a sticker um, that just kind of goes with the case. Now, of course, the price of the iPhone 13 Pro Max is not, you know, cheap. It's not affordable. It's not within most people's budget. But I'll tell you right now, if you're a professional, it definitely is worth it. You know, if, if you're going to be using it uh, or using most of its features, you know, you are using the capability of the A15 Bionic chip inside because that thing is powerful. It makes the phone respond very quickly and you know, it, it makes it so much better overall, man. I can't really explain it. You just have to experience stuff like this to really see how it works. All right, so we're at my home gym right now. So I'm gonna have my workout. Uh, usually I like to train um, for about an hour to two hours, you know, I get this done about six days out of the week So I use my phone during every one of these workouts The app that I use the most during my workouts is Spotify. So I use that for you know, all of my music uh, And I also use a timer to make sure I'm timing all of my workouts uh, You know to make sure that I'm taking the right amount of rests I also go through my emails as well as you know social media content on Instagram um, Facebook, you know, whatever uh, things that I usually wouldn't have time or don't have time to go through uh, during the day, I go ahead and do that during my workout. Cause you know, during each uh, rest period, you know, I can go ahead and check, you know, through different things. So I don't, you know, I try to multitask basically, you know, try to crush multiple things at one. So right now it's 8.47 PM. I'm gonna show you guys what the battery is saying right now. So we've got 55% of battery life. I also went ahead to update the phone to uh, iOS 15.4, which is the latest OS. I try to, you know, stay up to date uh, with those kinds of things, you know, on my phone. Cause that way you get, you know, all the new features and don't miss out on key or important new features. Uh, I'm going to open up Spotify right quick right now uh, and start my workout session. I think I'm already connected to my headphones. Cause the thing is, uh, since Beats by Dre got acquired by Apple, these things, you know, they connect so easily to Apple devices. So it works very well with my phone. Wish me luck. I'm going to have crazy back workouts. If you want to, you know, learn more about my fitness side or want to, you know, get some information about how you can get into fitness or learn, you know, what, what needs to be done, you know, you can go ahead and check out my other channel. So that's uh, my fitness uh, channel, which I will link at the top of the screen right now. You guys go ahead and check it out. So, or you can search it up on YouTube. Uh, the name is Midas MVMT. So you can search that up and you'll find all the information that you need to find out about my workout. Started as an East Coast vibe, now I'm going worldwide, we got this bitch going crazy. I used to take the Mazda for a drive, now I'm on a 405, like it's fuck you, pay me. We really sick of standing outside, had to push them all aside, it's what you get for trying to play me. I bet they make a movie when I die, just to talk about my life, they need an actor to portray me. I got this motherfucker clear like a Nidra, I got elevator flow, I'm on a high top, I got Little something stacked like an IHA. This is over. Okay, so I'm done my workout for the day. The iPhone is still going. I've been using it to play music throughout the entire workout. Honestly, if there's anything that I've noticed 
about this specific phone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it's the size. You know, trying to carry it around, uh, for most people, it might not be feasible. For me, I love it. I don't care about it. I actually prefer the larger uh, uh, size. But, you know, when you try to fit it in your pocket, say, you know, like some pockets, uh, it doesn't fit properly in. Like, from, for example, most of my gym uh, shorts, it never fits properly in those pockets. But, hey, I don't really care, man. Like I said, it's, for me, I prefer the larger, you know, uh, a phone. Plus, there's more perks uh, with this phone. It has the best battery life out of the entire iPhone lineup. So, for me, that's key. The, the battery life is extremely important. Okay, so the time is 12.21 a.m. right now, so we're already into the next day. And um, the battery level right now is at 31%. The first time I charged it was at 8.55 a.m. And you guys saw that part of the video. So right now it's at 31% after a full day of you know productive work and me heading out you know to get a haircut, my workout session, just a typical day in the life, you know. So let me go ahead and show you guys um, my battery usage uh, stats. So we're gonna go into the settings here and then look for the battery um, menu right there and we'll see right there. So the high brightness I noticed has been on throughout the entire day. But like I said, I've got it on auto so I don't really you know mess with the brightness. The battery health, we didn't look at this at the start of the video, but it's at 100%. This is seven months, six to seven months, you know, since the release of this phone. Because I, I bought this the day it was released last year. It also says right there that it was last charged to 100% at 8.57 a.m. So I use the camera a lot throughout the day, as you can see, 33%. I mean, I'm, I was basically testing out the camera as well throughout this video. And I do use the camera a lot, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I use it for recording all kinds of short form content for my Instagram, as well as, you know, taking pictures or quick B-rolls for my YouTube videos. You know, you, you can't always have your camera with you. I also used Instagram a lot. Well, I've got two accounts that I manage on there. So I've got to post all the time. You know, I gotta keep creating content. So I posted to both of them today. And there's also YouTube, home and lock screen, set in, Safari, Facebook, uh, Sonos, you know, a bunch of different apps that I use throughout the day. It will change daily. It would not always be the same, but the battery pretty much lasts me the entire day. If I was going to, you know, let's say I was traveling, and I was using, and I only had access to my phone, and maybe I was always, I'm always out, you know, I'm not close to my um, other cameras, or I'm not close to my, you know, on my laptop, then my phone becomes everything. It becomes my camera, it becomes my phone, it becomes my laptop, it becomes everything, you know, so I'm always on it. And in that case, it, it, you know, I might use more battery at that point. But the thing is, it still never really goes, you know, through all of it. I never really use it all. If you've got a 13 Pro Max, I'd like to know down in the comment section how your battery life is treating you. So go ahead and comment down below. And honestly, I'll tell you guys right now, I still recommend uh, getting a phone like this uh, for professional work if you're, you know, still looking for one. The iPhone 13 is a crazy, crazy phone. It's beastly. I don't know what they're gonna do with the 14, but I'm expecting it to only get better. That's how these things work, incremental. You know, every year, uh, you know, they, they, they increase or uh, improve the phone just a little bit. So there's really not much else to say about the phone, but you know, um, the, the fact that I'm still enjoying and loving this phone for my work and my day-to-day -day activities six to seven months, you know, after buying it. Hey, let me know what you guys think uh, about this video down in the comment section. I want you guys to let me know um, if you found it interesting. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I'm out, you guys. Go to bed. Huh.